Good evening. My name is Danny. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm a leader with KC Tenants, the citywide tenant union in Kansas City, and a proud member of the Homes Guarantee Campaign. I'm here today, taking off work to be here. I am here for my children. I recently received a letter in the mail saying that my kids cannot return to the only school they've known, where they've grown up at, where all their friends are, and why. Because I can't afford rent in their school district anymore. And that ain't right. My kids and kids across the country deserve better. The rent is too damn high. Good evening. My name is Sean Zay. My pronouns are she, her. I'm an organizer with PLAN and a proud member of the Homes Guarantee Campaign. My family and I immigrated from Pakistan when I was eight years old, and we were forced to move a lot because the rent was always too damn high. Mm -hmm. And after 9-11, my family experienced further racist abuse and mistreatment from landlords and the U.S. government. I felt so much guilt and shame, and now I'm angry about what my family was forced to experience. And I know it was not all, for our, all our fault. <laughs> this has always been a choice by those in power to keep us isolated and struggling. Mm. I know now that it does not have to be this way. That's why we need a homes guarantee and a National Tenants' Bill of Rights. <laughs> Our campaign, our campaign stands on the single, simple premise that in the richest country in the history of the world, every single person, every single person can and must be guaranteed safe, accessible, sustainable, and affordable housing. Yes. If you want a world with a homes guarantee, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. We know that the American housing system puts corporate profit over people, and that ain't right. That ain't right. Under this system, landlords hike rents, evict and displace tenants, and force us into unlivable conditions. The last house I lived in was beautiful. It had a fenced-in front yard, and it was the neighborhood that I grew up in. But it also had a bunch of issues like plumbing and leaks that made it unlivable. When I reported it to my landlord, she began bullying and harassing me. Eventually, I had no choice but to leave. She kept my $1,400 deposit, that ain't right. which landed me and my children into a homeless shelter. I was pissed off. How could they do this to me and my children? I know this story is not uncommon. There are people in this room who have stories like this one about abuse and displacement. The government is in business with landlords like mine, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, also known as the government-sponsored enterprises, working with banks to offer over $150 billion to landlords with financing every year without any strings attached. And that shit ain't right. That ain't right. For this reason, we are demanding that the federal government require limits on rent hikes and tenant protections as conditions for receiving these loans. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! All right, and here's the good news. Because of the organizing we did last year, we want a commitment for the federal government to consider attaching limits on rent hikes and tenant protections to this financing. Let me say that again. The federal government is now asking if they should limit rent hikes in one out of four apartments in this country because we, the tenants, organized. Yes, yes. All right. And we need you. We need you. I'm inviting you to take action with me to ensure that we win. Uh, because it's not enough to want this to happen, we must act. All right. So if every single person in this room submitted a comment today, we would submit over 900 comments. So tell our government to regulate the damn rent. All right, so pull out your phones right now. 
scan the QR code or type in the link tenantcomment.org. That will take you to the page uh, that will give you directions. All right.